But even when I looked at him submit Charles Oliveira, if you looked at how he submitted him, he grabbed his neck and he squeezed him as hard as he could. To me, I look at that, I see that as an inefficient choke. You know, if he didn't get that, he's burning his arms out, you know, whereas I feel like higher level technique, he'd be able to hold on to that thing for three, four minutes, if you know what I mean. You know what's crazy? That fight and that submission is what a lot of people are basing this fight on because they see it and they're like, man, if you did that to Charles, Volk has no chance. When you when you think about that narrative, what does that say to you? I mean, if you get submitted after being dropped, I don't really count it. I know back in the day, Fagner Hosha, really good grappler. Obviously, I'm not saying Jake Matthews isn't, but Jake submitted him. And I remember they gave him his brown belt in the octagon after. It really pissed Wagner off. But Wagner was basically knocked out at that point. You know what I mean? If Islam came out, took him down, passed his guard, submitted him, I would be a whole lot more impressed. But he almost knocked him out, jumped on a submission, and got the tap pretty quick. So I don't know. It's, it's hard to see that strength in grappling through that. For sure. I mean, honestly, I... Ortega's more dangerous on the ground. Obviously, Ortega's taken more losses. His submissions are better than Islam's. I think Ortega could give Islam a good fight, honestly. So, I mean, I think him escaping Ortega's submissions will be more impressive than him escaping Islam's submissions.